Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 62. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we're going to be doing the International Masters Car GT1 GTS Tour. And before anyone mentions it in the YouTube videos or whatnot, uh, yes, my voice is dead. Uh, I've been ill. I've not recorded for like two weeks. I've not made videos. I've just been feeling shit. <laughs> so, we're starting off with Indianapolis. Moving on to Bernie's Alps, Infinium Raceway, Road America, Nürburgring, Hockenheim Ring, and then Le Mans Circuit. Alright, here we go. Indianapolis. Well, this is going to be fun. I've, I've very much missed playing Forza. I haven't actually played a single Forza race since the last full Forza stream. So, which I believe was before Motorsport 8 release, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it might have been a couple of days after. Oh my gosh, I've absolutely destroyed that Aston. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I've destroyed my front bumper, its rear bumper, and its rear wing. I apologize profusely. Yeah, so... Pretty much no racing's been done in Forza. But, surprisingly... I haven't unadjusted stream among us right now <laughs> uh, I would if it wasn't for the fact that I have a love-hate relationship with that game like I, I think it's one of the greatest like multiplayer sort of party game kind of things I think it's great I think the idea of it is unbelievable like you look at other party games like Full, uh, maybe not full guys. Party animals, you've got uh, human full flat. Those kind of like party inspired games. Even like the Jackbox games as well. But for some reason, Among Us is just perfect. But at the same time, I take it way too seriously. And everyone I know that plays it takes it so seriously. It's like fuck <laughs> it's like someone's actually been murdered and like somebody's actually going to lose friends and get arrested and whatnot like that's why i've got such a such a love-hate relationship with that game it is it is so good though it is so good it's so simple as well like there isn't really a tutorial, which is why it sort of confused me the first time I played it. But after, like, two games, you get the hang of it. Like, it's so simple to understand. It doesn't need a tutorial. Um, it's, it is one of those games that I think is very good. It's probably why it became so popular. But I, I, I genuinely, genuinely fell out with people because of that game. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, it's unbelievable. I played so much Among Us as well. Mostly on mobile. Because it was so Was it 2020? Oh shit. During the pandemic. When it all kicked up. I'm. Okay. I. I, I don't know what the physics engine is doing here. But I'll take it, I guess. What in the fuck just happened? I'm baffled. Yeah, I actually haven't played Among Us VR, and I'm, I really want to. But the only issue is, every clip that I've seen has had, like, some screaming eight-year-old playing the game. And I'm just like, I, I can't put up with that shit. Like, I genuinely cannot put up with that shit. It drives me nuts. Like... It... 
I wouldn't bother with it. Oh my gosh. What imposter is sus? Wait. <laughs> Focus, dude, you're crashing the vehicle. Um, something tells me that my insurance is gonna go up after this race. Do you know what? Genuinely, if if an insurance company looked at my fucking racing skills on sim races, I. I, I I think they didn't say, yeah, your first car is 10 grand. 10 grand for insurance. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them as well. My driving's fucking atrocious. <laughs> ah! Overcompensated. Shit. I'm genuinely curious to look over this recording when I'm editing to find out just how bad my voice is. Because from my perspective, it sounds dreadful right now. I don't play on my SV for I'd have to find, like, an actual, like time to play it if I was going to do it. I've just got so... Uh, after being, like, ill... Like, I've been ill the past three or four days now. But, like, I didn't stream for the week before that because I had the toothache issue. And it made it almost unbearable to, like, stream and do stuff. So, at the moment... Literally, the last Fort for Motorsport video I have edited, ready to go up, goes up tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, there is nothing. No footage, no nothing. So today was literally my last straw. Well, t tomorrow technically was my last straw, but that meant tomorrow would have meant I was working pretty much 16 hours. To get everything, everything done. So at least now I can I can do my stream today and then edit it after work tonight. Um, but yeah, I, I really do have to catch up. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to stream every day just to catch up. Because I am a million miles behind right now. I only got one more lap after this one as well. I definitely see where um, people go on about uh, what's it called? The handling model. The fact that the rear of the cars slide out a lot in Forza. Because it is. When you go around some of these corners and you go quickly around them, the rear of the car does completely lose control. It's like you're drifting at all times. Fast as fuck, boy. 190 miles an hour down that straight. I'm actually thinking at some point, um, one of my mates is actually thinking of doing a, I, I'm not sure whether he said it's going to be a 12 hour or 24 hour, but he's going to do a charity stream at some point. So I'm thinking of uh, taking my setup, setting it up at his, and doing like an extended stream on my channel possibly as well, similar thing on the same day. And potentially just vibing. Probably going to play some party games like Among Us, Party Animals, 
Uh, probably Human Fall Flat, because apparently that's one of his favourite games as well. I've seen him play it a million fucking times. So, potentially, there could be some uh, cool streams coming up. I'm also thinking of doing... Uh, I haven't announced this yet, but I'm out announcing it now. Uh, on November the... No. October the 31st. I think that's when WRC comes out. Basically, when WRC comes out, I'm starting a 12-hour timer. I'm going to stream WRC for 12 hours on the release day. And every time someone joins the channel, same as the join a thon before. Um, I like join a thon as opposed to a uh, member a thon. I think join a thon sounds cooler. I I'm going to call it the join a thon now. Last time I called it the member a thon. But uh, I think join a thon sounds cooler. So, uh, anyway, back to back to the subject. Uh, the join a thon. I'm going to set the timers. There's there's going to be different tiers. Uh, the lower tier will stay at like the same amount of time, but the higher tiers are going to have like a huge boost on time. Um, and I'm just going to, because I've got a week at least in a row off. So the plan is to just stream for a long time, a week. If I can stream for a week nonstop, fair fucking play, fair fucking play. But yeah, the aim is to just do streams for the full day for as long as I can. Bad at all. I actually really like how this car is taking some of these corners. And especially through that left, right, left section. Was it right, left, right? I think it was right, left, right. Uh, it doesn't fucking matter. Through that section, that was unbelievable driving through there. So, I, I'm, I'm going to take that. I will take that. Very nice corner. Shit. Not as ideal that section there. The only issue that I'm feeling right now over this uh, illness is the fact that where I've been coughing so much, my chest just fucking kills. Like, it's, it's not super painful, but when I stretch out, 
I can definitely feel it all around here. And uh, it's... It's painful! It's quite painful! But uh, other than that, like, I'm actually feeling alright. Like, for the first time in probably about a week and a half now, almost two weeks, I'm feeling pretty good, so... But yeah, this uh, this toothache issue literally fled up out of nowhere, and it's completely gone. Like, it sorted itself out, because uh, the last time it fled up, I needed, like, a round of antibiotics, I needed... I ended up having antibiotics for, I want to say six or seven days. I think it was, a, I think it was a week. And uh, it did its job well. But this time, like, the toothache was gone within six days. Without antibiotics. So I'm... I'm almost slightly confused as to why I needed antibiotics the last time. If this time it it was a very similar sort of pain as well. It's a very similar sort of thing that happened. It sort of like swelled up and whatnot. But I didn't I didn't need antibiotics this time. Cuz I did I to be fair, my fault, didn't go to the dentist, but Yeah, no, it seems it seems a bit strange. But yeah, I'm hoping wake up tomorrow, everything's gonna be back to normal. My voice is gonna be back to normal. Just really hoping. And I'm also hoping that it doesn't get to the end of today, and because I've been using my voice all morning, that I'm gonna have no voice later on today. That's the thing I'm concerned about. But at the same time, I don't know. Oh. I love this. I love chill drum and bass. I I don't know what it is, but drum and bass like like I love really hyped up aggressive drum and bass as well. Stuff like Dimension stuff is like sick. But the chill stuff where it's just like pianos and it's just like some snares and some hi hats and a couple of kicks every so often, like this, absolutely love it. It's so relaxing, it's so chilling for me. I don't understand. My my perfect example, and I know I'm going to get copyright strikes if I put this on, but I don't care. Actually, I know that I, I will get copyright striked, but I won't get any um, negatives from it. Just because of the fact that... Uh, Oh shit. Uh There we go. <laughs> Bad idea to laugh when you got back off. Ow. Uh yeah, so this song was used in Forza. And I can tell you right now if uh what's it called? If this song was in Forza and people were getting into a lot of trouble for playing the game, I, I'd know about it. So... We should be fine playing this next song. Ooh, shit. So yeah, when it, when it comes to like chill drum and bass, this is the song that I think of. I'm hoping it picks up on the stream a little bit, but... It's called One More Moment by Kino. And it is... Ah, uh, it's so good.
It's just a really chill piano fill, pretty much. I've done it again. Twice in a row. Oh my gosh, what? I'm trying to load up my analytics. Oh my god, what the fuck? There we go. Yeah, this this second race went horribly wrong. But mainly because I was uh, a bit too focused on OBS and Tidal and all the music and everything. But no, I'm actually, like, I'm so excited to get back into Forza again. Like... I, I'm I'm thinking I might sit down when I finish this series and work out because all of the videos that I've uploaded on Forza uh, when it comes to like gameplay videos wise it's pretty much all just the gameplay it's not full play time so I'm ooh I'm thinking of counting all the videos Minus in 30 seconds for every video. For the intro. Um, and what I think I'm going to do is just calculate how long it's taken me to complete every game. Because I think that would be quite cool to work out as well. I think that would be sick. 27,000 credits. 17,000 XP. Very nice. Level 5 affinity with uh, Aston Martin. Alright, here we go. Race number 3. I've got my Robina, which hopefully is actually... It's kind of helping my throat a little bit. I do use the term a little bit very lightly. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you going so slow? You have no right going so slow. You must be fast. Going slow is for idiots. Which makes you an idiot. <laughs> Speed limits? What are those? I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Stream is actually looking lovely, by the way, chat. Like, the quality. Uh, I'm going to say this over and over again, but me upgrading my motherboard and my capture card, best decision I made in a while in terms of, like, improving stream quality. Because now the stream looks great. And all I have to do when um, I'm planning on selling my Xbox One X, buying a Series X. I know it seems stupid, but I need the Series X to run Forza Motorsport because it's so poorly optimized for PC at the moment. And I think I'm going to use it for Horizon 5 as well. I think the only games I'm going to run on PC is... Horizon 3 and Horizon 4 They might put out some optimizations for Horizon 5 that makes it run better or I might get a better PC by that time and it might look better playing it on PC but as of right now Horizon 3 and 4 I can definitely do on PC because I know that they run significantly better on uh, what's it called PC so that's fine but at the moment I think Series X is the only way to go to run Horizon 5 and uh, Motorsport 8 Motorsport 7 I've never played on PC yet and uh, I need to dig deep and figure out how factory reset in a PC works 
whether there's any way I can factory reset without deleting my D uh, my D drive, my G drive, my H drive, and my U well my U drive is um, Google Cloud, so that should be fine. But I need to make sure that those other three drives are completely untouched. And probably by the time I get to downloading Forza Motorsport 7, I'll end up having a fourth drive. So I need I need to make sure that all these drives won't be affected in a factory reset. I doubt they would be because of the fact that they are technically identifiable as removable drives, but they're just sort of hardwired into the system. They're wired into the system that you can't just like plug and play. But they behave like plug and play devices, so. Might be possible. I'm not too sure. Yo, Kit, what up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. Apologies for the really, like, rough sounding voice today. Uh, normally, I don't sound like this, but. Yeah, my, my, my voice is, uh. A little bit poorly today. Oh well, welcome to the stream. Ho hopefully you enjoy it here. If you don't mind me asking, how did you uh, find my stream? Was it uh, recommended via YouTube or was it through a Discord server? That was a really weird <laughs> word to say. Server. <laughs> so many voice break. Playing Forza Horizon 5. Ah, oh, fair enough. Horizon 5 is. It's a pretty good game in terms of, like, the amount of content they're adding. The only issue is I don't have the time to play it, so. I just see here live, so I watch it. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, uh, welcome. I'll, uh, explain a little bit about myself. Uh, so, I'm Mech. I play a lot of racing games here. But, uh, in particular at the moment... I'm playing a lot of Forza. Um, I'm in the middle of recording what I like to call the Forza Mega Series. So that's where I'm playing through every single Forza game. I've already done 1, 2, and 3. Motorsports 1, 2, and 3. Uh, I'm about 25% of the way through this one, Motorsport 4. And after this, I'll then be moving on to the Horizon games and the Motorsport games as I'm doing them all in chronological order. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Might clip that actually and post that as a YouTube short. Whee. That was dreadful. Driving one handed, not recommended. Definitely wouldn't recommend it in real life either. You might get pulled over by the policeman. Only games that you play online? Um, typically the online games that I play are mostly like uh, first person shooters and stuff like that. I, I've never been a fan of online gaming in particular because every single time I've played it, never really been an enjoyable experience. Um, I think that's partly because of the fact that I play with the wrong people, probably. But at the same time, I find quite a lot of enjoyment out of playing like single player campaigns and stuff like that. So for example, Cyberpunk 2077, really into that at the moment, great story. Um, obviously I'm playing through a lot of Forts and Motorsports, so most of these games are offline games now as well. Um, I think in the last three years, the most I've played in terms of like online games have been Call of Duties. That have been actual like online experiences, like multiplayer. And that's the only one that I've somewhat enjoyed. Um, most of the other ones are either like multiplayer, but like ghost multiplayers. So, for example, like Riders Republic, The Crew. Um, Forza Horizon, because again, they're, they're always multiplayer games, but they're like ghosted. It's almost like a, still a single-player experience. 
Whereas, yeah, most most of the games I play are single player, unfortunately. If you go back beyond that three year margin that I gave, probably you would have played a lot more multiplayer. So, can you make a next video playing horror games? Uh, I'm not not really a fan of horror, unfortunately. Um, horror is not my cup of tea, so. Yeah, I, I, I used to play things like Five Nights at Freddy's, but in terms of like making content, um, at the moment the Falls of Mega Series is taking up everything. So I'm posting daily videos, and the Falls of Mega Series is still going to take about three years to finish. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much a racer. I play a lot of racing games. Come on, get out of the way. Don't hug the road. By the way, if you are wanting to uh, change a little avatar that's below on that little bar, click on that link that's just been sent in the chat and you'll be able to uh, modify your avatar. Or if you have a look in the description, there should be a link tree link. Uh, actually, I don't know if I've set that up yet on the streams. But if there's a link tree link, you can click on that, and that will also take you to that page as well. Where you can modify your avatar. There we go. Not bad, I'll take that. I like this, this is catchy. <laughs> hey. 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 Uh oh. Hey. Hey. Speedy Mama G, coming through the corners like a G. Speedy Mama G is coming through the corners like a G, like a G, like a G, yeah. Like a G, like a G, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Yo, VT, what up? Welcome. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the stream. I should probably say welcome back to myself. After being away for almost two weeks now. Oh, come on. Why, why'd you break so early? You absolute idiot. Oh, my bumper's broken. You broke my bumper. But yeah, hope, hopefully you're having a good day, VT. Welcome to the stream, man. If you're wondering about my voice, uh, it's currently in recovery mode. I haven't quite been able to boot in past the BIOS yet. <laughs> That's a terrible joke. Do you do Instagram? I do. Um, I will put in. Hang on. Oh shit! Whoa! Ah! Sorry, I'm multitasking here like a king. Oh, it's all in caps lock, you idiot. Hang on. Whoa! Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> right, let's start again. This is great. Hey, no worries. No worries, it's my fault. I should have done it on the straight. Because now that I'm on the straight, I'll have little to no issues typing it out. Uh, so that link there will send you to my link tree. It's got all my socials and everything on there. Plus a couple of extra links. 
um, such as like the Mega Series Progress, which I haven't actually updated yet. So I need to update the spreadsheet. I'll do that tonight. Um, but yeah, if you click on that link, it's got all my social links on there. Uh, doing all right. Playing some grid at the moment. Which grid are you playing, by the way, BT? Is it just the standard grid 2019? Which, if it is, that's a pretty cracking game, actually. In 2019 at the moment, then going to Auto Sport, then Legends, then maybe going through the first one again. Fair play, fair play. <clears throat> Grid uh, Auto Sport is actually a really, really good game. Um, I'm going to be slightly honest. I, I'm gutted that the game isn't on sale because I think it should be permanently on sale. I think Codemasters should do something to make Auto Sport permanently available. Like even. You look at some of the licensing deals that they have with the current grid games. A lot of cars are actually in other grid games as well. Like, some of them are in grid autosport. So I don't see why they couldn't bring back autosport remaster. In fact, I don't want to remaster. The game looks amazing as it is anyways. But it is such a well playable game. It's such a well made almost work of art I think in my opinion and that game is so good it like whenever I'm making a list of like if I was to make a list of five games for people who are looking to start out their steam library they've got a steam deck whatnot grid autosport is the top like top of the list because it is perfect in terms of PC gameplay the game looks I mean, you could quite easily get 120 FPS, easy, at 1080p. Vibe of the first one, though. Yeah, the the first one I've never actually played, so I can't really give an opinion on that one. But in terms of autosport, just how how the game's structured, how the gameplay is, how fun it is, and the fact that it's fully customizable in terms of like race length, you can customize how long the races are and everything you have quite a large amount of control and it's one of those games that I can quite easily say if you're looking like if you're a racing game person look for a key for grid auto sport get that in your steam library because when you're on steam deck going from system to system as well the steam deck will run it on the highest settings at 60 fps easy and then you can run it on your PC at even higher frame rates than that easy the cross progression easy like it's just pretty much the perfect game for Steam Deck PC and whatnot other games I probably recommend would be uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 that one works surprisingly well on Steam Deck um, and obviously on PC it's great I'm hoping that the new WRC is going to work well on Steam Deck, but I'm, I don't have super high hopes. But I'm hoping it will be alright. Because I'm not going to be running the new WRC at anything higher than uh, 1080p anyways, or 60fps. But I'm, I'm hoping it, it will run on the Steam Deck. I can't believe though, I've already like, I downloaded Test Drive Unlimited 2 onto the Steam Deck, specifically because I just wanted to mess around and play with it, and I completed the game on the Steam Deck. I was so, because I've never completed Test Drive Unlimited 2, never completed it, and every single time I've played it, I've always gone, 
gotten significantly far in the game and then stopped playing it. And the Steam Deck is the only version... The only system that I've played the entire game on. And completed the entire game. Yeah, the, the issue is... Um, so, Test Drive Unlimited 2... It, it got delisted... Quite, quite a while ago, actually. But nobody was ever interested in playing it until Project Paradise became a thing. And you had people like Kuru make... I think Kuru made a video on it. Uh, Dustin Eden, I think, made a video. Maybe Black Panther. Once these YouTubers started making videos, people were like, Ooh, I really want to get it. And now the keys have gone, like, ridiculous price. Because Project Paradise 2 is a phenomenal piece of software that makes the game online again. It, it makes it exactly as it was when you bought it day one. The only difference is it's a modded server now. And it's, it's such a good piece of software. It's not too difficult to install. Um, there are obviously patches that you have to run on the game. But you have to do it with the base game anyways if you're running on an RTX card. So... Some of the patches are a bit of a nightmare, but that's not part of the mod's fault. That's part of the game's fault. You have to run those on uh, the base version of the game anyways, if you have an RTX card. It's just one of those things that confuses the hell out of me. Because that game hasn't been on sale for like four years, I think. I bought it just as it was coming out. I, I bought mine off Steam. I didn't buy a key for it. I bought it straight off of Steam. Which is crazy to think. Alright. Lovela Jubala. Lovela Jubala. I'll take that result as well. Alright, I'm at level 75. I'm going to run a battle royale quickly. Um, I'm still debating whether I'm going to set all the rewards for the battle royale event as like purchasable cars. Because I've been off for so long this month. But I'm still debating that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>